So it's been a long time since I've spoken about the brand DS and Durga on my channel. Radio Bombay is one of my favorite fragrances ever. Such an amazing coconut based fragrance, which reminds me I have to wear it right around this time of the year. It's perfect for the summer. Well, in today's video, we're going to be focusing our attention on bow makers. I'm excited to give you my thoughts on this fragrance, so make sure to stay tuned. Before I begin today's review and I tell you all about Bow Makers by DS and Durga, which is a really unique artistic expression of a fragrance, I do want to start things off by mentioning that if you are a fan of fragrance related content, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit that bell icon so you can be notified whenever I do upload future videos to the channel. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you learned something today or if you took something of value from today's episode. Now, I know this brand has a lot of really, really interesting fragrances. A very long time ago, I purchased a fragrance which was a collaboration with, I think, Brooklyn Dry Goods, if I'm remembering that correctly. It was called Spent Musket Oil. Very unique bottle. It had a set of dog tags hanging around the collar. And I just really loved that fragrance for its artistic merit and how creative and unique it was. And a couple of years ago, or more than a couple of years ago now, I acquired Radio Bombay which is an amazing, creamy, coconut-based fragrance that has so much personality. And I know they've released a lot of really expressive, olfactive creations, Mississippi Medicine being another one, Burning Barbershop. And I think this one actually does get compared to Mississippi Medicine. It has a lot of really dark ingredients in here. And I think there's a really cool narrative that is conveniently located on the back of the box here, which in and of itself is a really beautiful and really unique presentation, the way it opens up and the way that the bottle is housed on the inside. But the story of this one reads, Amongst the transcendental woods of the 1800s, craftsmen from the Massachusetts Bay Colony built violins and bows in the tiny towns of the Pioneer Valley. The shops were riddled with old growth mahogany, buried maple shavings, amber pine rosin, aged walnut, and their unique secret varnishes. So basically this fragrance smells like a newly built violin, hence the name bow maker. So it has violin varnish as a note. And there is actually a peculiar ingredient in the opening that is evocative of varnish. There's mahogany and outdoors accord. So that's kind of nebulous and arbitrary. You can kind of, you know, subjectify it and make your own meaning to it. Uh, amber pine rosin, maple wood and cypress. And then you have spice tree resin, cedar and moss lingering in the base. This is a very unique fragrance, and I do want to mention that if you're interested in purchasing it, you may do so at perfumeonline.ca. They actually have it for a really, really good price. I'm, I'm very happy that I found it on their website. I'm going to leave all of the links down below. Not affiliate links. I don't make any commission from you purchasing from their website. I just want to let you know that if I do find a good deal on various websites from time to time, I do like to bring it to your attention. So this is available on perfumeonline.ca. So bow makers, I'm excited to talk to you about this smell. Let's go ahead and start things off with the presentation. So right in the opening of this fragrance, you are going to get this <laughs> violin varnish accord. Now, I don't play violin. Um, I'm good at certain stringed instruments. I do own a couple bass guitars and I actually do play the guitar. I have received private instruction in guitar for over 10 years. I've played in many bands when I was younger, composed my own original music. And so I'm quite familiar with guitar. And there is a certain smell from the sound hole when you purchase a new guitar, something that was recently, you know, lacquered or varnished or whatever, and you take it out of the box and just the, the smell of the mahogany or whatever other wood is used in the construction of that, you know, uh, stringed instrument 
It smells so unique, and I personally love that smell. I'm a fan of a lot of peculiar smells, as you may already know from previous reviews that I've done. I actually do like the smell of gasoline, for example, and there's something about this fragrance with that violin varnish accord in the opening. It smells very woodsy, it smells very resinous, without having a certain warmth that I would usually associate with various resins. When I'm thinking about resins like benzoin and labdanum and even pine resin or galbanum, I usually use the adjective warm to describe them. This isn't warm, it's sharp. So it opens up very sharp, very sharply resinous. And just going back to that node pyramid that I alluded to earlier, it has this amber pine, rosin, maplewood, and cypress. So you can see a lot of these verdant qualities, these green qualities conveyed in this fragrance. And I think the cypress brings them out very, very nicely. And then of course, in the base, you have moss. So that accentuates the green qualities and kind of bridges the heart with the base and so very beautifully put together now one thing that i will have to mention though is that this has a very extroverted very strong personality about it so if you're a fan of some of the more quiet and soft and subtle compositions out there this fragrance is not for you this is very loud it's bold it's um kind of audacious, right? In the way that it carries itself. It's not apathetic, but it's audacious. It has a very extroverted personality. And I personally love that. I love smelling fragrances that smell like nothing else I've tried before. And this fragrance did that for me. And so I have been wanting to acquire this for a long time. So I'm finally um, happy that it's in my collection, but very, very unique. It's woodsy, it's resinous. It's earthy, it definitely is evocative of being outdoors, perhaps in the middle of a forest, and I do like the story behind it, and I love the expressions that this brand has been putting out, and I'm a fan, and I will continue to purchase fragrances from this brand. Bowmakers is definitely one of the most unique fragrances I've ever tried from any brand, and so I'm really happy that brands are taking advantage of the opportunity to you know take either a, a certain item or a particular memory and to try to transform it and produce a product in olfactive form for us to enjoy that is evocative of that item or that place or that memory and so ds and durga is doing a wonderful job there let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment now first up in terms of the uniqueness and the uh, overall smell super unique. Uh, definitely one of the most unique fragrances I've ever tried in terms of not just the notes that are in here, but the vibe that it conveys. The overall smell is going to be a little bit on the challenging side. It's a little dark. It's, it's a little um, gothic without being grotesque, but it is on the darker side of things. So definitely something to keep in mind if you're a fan of your aquatics and your freshies, chances are this isn't gonna resonate with you. But if you like some of the more gothic, some of the darker fragrances out there, you gotta try Bow Makers. Definitely very earthy, definitely an outdoorsy scent. In terms of the longevity, 10 plus hours. This stuff is nuclear, lasts a long time, the same thing can be said about some of the other DS and Durga fragrances that I've tried on skin, uh, Mississippi Medicine being one of them, and um, also some of the other darker fragrances, Spent Musket Oil, which I purchased many years ago, I think back in 2012 or 2013. In any case, projection, amazing for the first hour and a half to two hours of application. It didn't even start to sit on an elbow's length until about hour five or six. Right around hour 10, it disappeared. Versatility cold weather. So I think you'll really enjoy this one in the colder days of autumn and certainly in the winter time, especially if you live kind of where I live in the East Coast, especially farther up north. I think you'll get a lot of use out of this one. Perfectly unisex, although some people would argue because of the moss and the woods and the resins and the uh, cypress that this leans a little bit masculine. But for me personally, I think it's totally unisex. In terms of the age range, I think somebody who's a little bit older would really appreciate this one, especially somebody who's a little bit more experienced dealing with niche perfumes and indie perfumes. I think they would have the most appreciation for this type of a DNA. And I think this one is great for formal occasions, but if you can afford it and you wanna wear it casually, by all means, be my guest. 
Please do bear in mind though that this is a very non-linear fragrance. So that sharpness that you get from the violin varnish does vanish, right? The varnish vanishes after about 20 to 30 minutes. And then you're left with like this still sharp resinous um, composition that spotlights a lot of those green elements that I alluded to earlier. Presentation is beautiful. My final verdict is if you're a fan of some of the darker, more extroverted fragrances out there, you like woodsy, resinous, and green fragrances, or maybe you are, um, you know, a, a fan of <laughs> the smell of violin varnish, or maybe you're familiar with how a lot of these stringed instruments smell after they've been recently crafted, and you want something like that in perfumed form, definitely check out Bow Makers by DS and Durga really unique fragrance. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Also make sure to hit that bell icon and enable all notifications so you could be notified whenever I do publish these videos to the channel. It would mean so much to me. Thank you so much. And also give this video a thumbs up if you learned something today or if you took any bit of value from today's review. It would really mean a lot to me. Thanks again for watching. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.